Up next on Megan's menu, we are making nachos. And joining me from Modern Taco Company is Chef Kirk, AKA Captain Kirk. If you want anything, go and see him at Modern Taco Company. Joining us here, we have Michael Tukarczuk and Susan Alexic, who are Mexican food fans. Okay, so how do you make your nachos? Nachos, it's kind of a standard dish in any Mexican cuisine. You always gotta start with a generous helping of nacho chips. You wanna yeah. help put these out here? She is much more aggressive than I am with this. And then you're gonna layer it with a nice layer of cheese like you always would. Okay. Now nachos is one of those things that obviously it's great if you're with friends, it's great to share. And it's not that hard to make at home, right? No, I mean, anybody can you know, whip together a couple nacho chips, a little bit of cheese. And How's that? Right, perfect, and we're gonna be making our nachos with our ground steak. Okay, ground steak, got it. So not just standard ground beef, this is our ground down steak. So we've had this warming up. Is it here? In the oven. So this is seasoned with our chili seasoning, as well as uh, some of the various, various other seasonings. Um, so this is available for in your tacos, in your burritos, or like this, in your nachos. So here's the thing, if you are at home and let's say we don't have the ground steak, you can use ground beef, and yes. I hate to say this, cover your ears. Okay. You can use a pre-packaged taco mix or nacho mix, whatever you wish. We're all good. You okay. didn't hear it. I didn't hear anything. If you're in a pinch, that's what you can use at home, and it tastes pretty good. It won't taste as good as at Modern Taco Company, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Perfect. So we're gonna put a generous helping of our uh, ground steak on there. Okay. Just gonna spread that out nice and evenly, because Everybody wants a little bit of the steak. A nice piece of steak in every bite. Next we are going to add what? Next we're adding our homemade chili. Homemade chili, ooh. So, every day made fresh, we prepare an entire giant vat of this chili to make sure that we have enough because it is very popular. So we're going to take another big helping of the chili. We're just going to spread that out over the whole thing. Now is your chili spicy chili? This chili's a little spicy. Like I said, you can't really have... Uh, oh, I see some sausage in there's there. There's a little bit of chorizo sausage in there. That is my favorite. I love chorizo sausage. Perfect. So now that this is done, we're going to throw this in the oven to get this all the hot ingredients melted hot. down and hot. Watch out. Hot comes from behind. Here we go. Oh, there's my sausage. There's, that's your piece, though. <laughs> All right, so now that we got all the hot ingredients ready and everything, yep. now we're gonna to top it with some fresh vegetables and some fresh sauce. So we're gonna start with a little bit of lettuce. Okay. I'll let you do lettuce. What's after lettuce? lettuce? The lettuce, after lettuce, we're gonna do a little bit of pico. Pico de gallo? Yeah. Now this is really easy. Tomato, cilantro, onion, lime. Did I nail lime it? Lime juice, yeah. Can we do this at the same time? Only if you follow behind me. I'm following behind. Okay. Lettuce doesn't work with a spoon very well. No, never, never tried I'm, this not, I'm not sure why you're spooning it. I, That's okay though. I'm not sure either. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay, then we're gonna top it with a little bit of sour cream. A little bit or a lot of it? A Megan amount of sour cream. Okay. That's a healthy amount. That's a lot That's of it. Good. That's a lot That's of good. it. I, I like, like a lot of sour cream. Okay, and then we're gonna add some of our queso. Okay. Our fresh queso. And this you make in-house? This is made in-house. Okay. It's again with the 1% uh, milk. How's that? That's a good amount, that's healthy. Okay. All right, and then a little bit of cilantro. Done. You're, just, you're ready for these nachos, aren't you? I'm hungry. <laughs> I right. want my sausage. And then grab a lime for the corner of the plate. Okay, or for my piece. Or for your piece, if you want a little. And there's my, my area. That's your area of the thing. Uh, do you guys want some lime too? Sure. Okay, can I lime it all? You can lime it all. Okay, woohoo! Here we go. Perfect. Done. Done and done. And now? That is everything. Now we get to eat it. Hooray! Okay, let's move it on over for sharing. Everybody watch out. The plate is very hot. There's my sausage. Right there. Got my chorizo, guys. Look at this. See? Look at that. How is it? This is going to be a mouthful. Delicious. Mm. Mm. This is delicious. This is fantastic. I like the chili on it. The heat is fantastic. It's great. It's very sweet. In-house, we make our own uh, hot sauces, as well as all our other sauces. So this is a mango habanero sauce. Oh, wow. Give that, give that a little. We gotta try it. Okay. What, are you gonna do a Megan's up mount? No. <laughs> we will, none of us will be eating any more food if we is do that. Is it that hot? It's, it's got a little heat to it. It really depends what you want. So we're just gonna do this little corner right here. What about my corner? Dig it into this. Just a little on my corner. A little bit on your corner? Just a little. It's nice. You know what they say about the heat. What do they say about the heat? If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. 
Oh, I like the heat here. I'm gonna stay. Is that okay? Is that why they call you a spicy Susan? <laughs> it might be. Whew. I need something to cool my mouth down. Maybe a margarita. Maybe a margarita. Up next, margaritas. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Megan's menu. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Hi, it's Sheila Bennett from Kitchen Sink, your place to create. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. I've never had a bad meal here, ever, ever, ever. And I had to taste it at the burrito. They have this new launch going on and I heard all about it. And it's like, I gotta get me some of that. It's very, very good. You gotta come try it. Welcome back to Megan's Menu. We are having way too much fun here on the set today. We are with Modern Taco Company. We are making Mexican. Okay, so this next dish is called? The Naked Taco. The Naked Taco. Why do we call it the Naked Taco? Well, for the, some people they don't even want, even though it's a corn tortilla, <laughs> which is very healthy, they still want just rice and the standard toppings, so they have that option. Okay, so what goes better with a taco than? Margaritas. Margaritas. So the naked taco starts with a bed of rice. Got it. Right here. Got it. This is our Mexican rice. Yeah, this is Boom. our Mexican rice. It starts with the white rice, then we kind of season it up. Jazz it up. Jazz it up a notch and uh, make it this way. Okay, right. so it starts with a bed of rice. Starts with a bed of our Mexican rice, and we're gonna put on a nice healthy it's a dry coleslaw? It's a dry coleslaw, okay. yeah. So just some cabbage, a little bit of carrot. Yeah, a little bit of purple cabbage because okay. it looks nice. Everything is made fresh on the fly every day. So, there we go. So we got Perfect. the cabbage on there. Next up, we're going to put a little bit of the, uh, pico, de gallo. the pico de gallo on there. Got it. Wanna, yes, I can. I know you love anything with cilantro in it. To just, it's true. She's just going to go, you should just dump the bowl on there. So? All right, so this is our slow cooked chicken. Um, cooked for three hours in a special uh, oven. This is kind of mixed with a bunch of different spices, tomato, uh, peppers, a little bit of jalapenos, all that. So it's got a little bit of a zing to it, but uh, it's a perfect dish for this. It's perfect for spicy season. Exactly. All right, so we're gonna put that on there. This looks delicious, my mouth is watering. All right, so now we're gonna take our avocado sauce. You got know it. which one that is? Yes. Perfect, you're gonna give that a shake and we're gonna give it a Megan portion of that on there. Okay. So our avocado sauce. Yeah, that's good, hey? It's perfect. So this is also made fresh. And all of our sauces that you've seen here are available to buy in our store. So you can go down there and pick up these as well as a multitude of hot sauces that we make. That's awesome, good to know. So, so we're gonna do that. Now you get to take the queso and put it on there. Got it. I'm waiting for the cheese. Cheese, please. There you go. Right. And this is the naked taco and this is the chicken tinga. So how do we eat this? Well, this one, you gotta grab I, your forks. I have forks ready. We got forks ready. And so you we guys just have forks ready? We're divvy ready. it up. Okay. We get to eat right off the plate, like Kay. always here. Let's so just do it, win. guys. Right off the plate. I can't wait to get some of this avocado sauce. We get a little bit of everything here. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of like a. It's like chicken a. Chicken taco salad. It's like mm. a. 
more filling version of a taco salad that tastes way better that actually isn't like a taco salad at all, actually, now that I think about it. It just kind of looks like a taco salad. Yeah. That's about the only thing. This is this awesome. Is this is very delicious. Nice and fresh. It feels so healthy to eat, too. It doesn't feel like you're going to be ruining your diet for the day. OK, what's, what goes better than margarita, right? Yeah, Margarita? Well, I'm making this without our margaritas. You're right. We're too so, focused on the food here. We forgot about our drink. Okay. So Modern Taco Company is a fully licensed restaurant. I know it seems a little weird. You walk into a mall and there's a restaurant. It kind of gives off a fast food vibe. It's not a fast food restaurant. It is a licensed, full service. Hey, well, what else? Service, where sorry. else are you going to go on a Friday afternoon when you're walking around the mall? Exactly. Grab a margarita. Absolutely. Have a good time. So we're going to make us all one here. We're short one, aren't we? Well, that's okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. Okay, so we got a little orange liqueur. Orange. Then we add a we little are. tequila. A little tequila, okay. 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 <laughs> and then you want to add your lime juice. Lime yep. juice, okay. And if you're doing this homemade with actual limes, it will take forever, but you can use lime juice, mix it with a little bit of sugar. Exactly. Yeah. But why make it yourself? Yeah. Come down and grab one. He'll make it for you. All right. Here we go. We're already on the rocks, so I don't have to do that. So, they serve it there on the rocks, which is actually my favorite way to have a margarita. As much as I like the slush, I far prefer it on the rocks. There we go. This looks awesome. Let's hand them out to our guests. There we go. Okay. We'll share. There we go. Okay. Ready, here we go. Woo! Oh, that's nice. That's a pretty serious margarita that's right there. That's a magnificent margarita, Megan. That's fantastic. Oh, that is very refreshing. That's, you know what? I'm going right back in for this mm. now. Go right I'm back in. I feel like you can't have just one. Well, this is fantastic. You know, it pairs really well with the margarita. I mean, the, the ingredients are so fresh. I like that avocado sauce. It's mm. really nice. It's fantastic. It's a very clean tasting naked taco. <laughs> oh, this straw is changing color. Oh, really? I think it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. That and a whole lot more at Modern Chocolate Company. We'll yes. be right back right after this. <laughs> Cheers. I'm having a chicken tinga quesadilla with chips and salsa and a side of nachos, apparently. You should come to Modern Taco Company. It's a lot of fun. Welcome back to Megan's Menu. Next on the menu, we are doing burritos. Now, Chef Kirk here is going to do his own Modern Taco Company burrito. I'm going to do my own burrito. Okay. And we'll see whose is better. Step one, grab yourself a tortilla. Got it. You take that one. There. Rice is first. Rice is first. Okay, here's a question for you. How important is the order for what you, how you do your burritos? Uh, the order, it matters a little bit because you don't want to put the hottest ingredients or the coldest. Okay. Because you do want that contrast inside the burrito, a little bit of, you know, texture. Enough rice? Uh, this is our barbecue beef taco, but it's a larger portion. It's made for a burrito size. So like Mike size? A Mike size. Okay. So we put some beef. Put some beef. Now yeah. this is slow roasted beef. This is our slow roasted beef. It's uh, a barbecue sauce beef. It's cooked in our oven for about three hours, like our chicken and our pork. Let me just have a little taste test of that. A little good amount of it. Mm. This is a burrito. It's sweet. It is. It's very sweet. Very delicious. Okay. Next up, we're going to put the slaw on there. Well, I was going to put the slaw on too. So. Okay, slaw. How about some uh, pico de gallo? Now we'll put a little bit of pico de gallo. Oh. I see you've played burrito before. <laughs> oh, I've played more than burrito, my friend. I salsa? Believe you. Are you going to have salsa on yours? I'm going to have a little bit of salsa on mine. Oh, got some fresh lime. Okay. Going to put some lime on there. Okay, That's and right. what would you like? Some guacamole? No, the chipotle cream is the next. And step. this is another sauce you make in house. This is another one of our sauces we make in house. Like I said, all of them are available to purchase at the restaurant. So you're gonna put a little bit of that on there. I'm gonna also put a little bit of this. A lot of bit of this. A little extra, and some guacamole. There you go. And yeah, at this point, you can add things like guacamole. You can add, you know, coleslaw more if you like, or lettuce as well as any fresh hot salsas, if you let them know ahead of time, they'll add that right inside the burrito for you. Okay, got my guacamole. Got your guacamole. Yeah. Mine's gonna be very traditional here. You can add a little bit of sour cream too, if you'd like. Yeah. This is a very saucy burrito. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream because I like sour cream on mine too. <laughs> Have you ever had a burrito before? Well, let's see. It's not my first day. 
Beautiful. Perfect. Now we're gonna grill these. Yeah. So we got the grill behind us. It's hot and ready. Hot and ready. Hopefully there's room for two of them on here. Mine's gonna go right there. Do you want it like a certain way? That'll be fine. Okay. Now how long do you grill them for? Until they're golden brown. You're really golden just trying brown? to bring out, you know, a little color on the outside, a little flavor. So you're not really doing it to warm it, it's more just to finish the finish the burrito. Yeah, because you still okay. want that inside to have a little bit of the cool texture with the lettuce and everything, but you want the meat to be hot, you want the sauces to all become hot, and the burrito itself to have some crispiness to it. Now, Susan and Mike, you get to pick whose burrito do you want to have? My burrito? I will let Susan do the honors. Or his burrito? Swing that knife very violently. You know what? I, I'll try Megan's burrito. I'll give it a shot. I'm not afraid of a little saucy spice. So. Look at that. Beautiful. Just for you, my love. Thank you so much. And whose did you want to try? Well, you know, since we've got one pre-cut already and, uh, you know, it's supposed to be quite spicy and saucy, let's uh, the world. All right, we're going to share one, half of this one. Okay, let's do it. And this is a great lunch on the go, really. It is. It fills you up. you got your veggies for the day. I'm really good. You have everything you need. This is great for you. Thanks, guys. Do I have to cut you a half of mine? Well, let's just, let's do shares these. Yeah, and anyway, this is our large burrito. There um, you go. It's this available is... a little smaller if you're, you know, maybe have this big of an appetite, but if you do, which we all do here. This is so fresh and delicious. I mean, it's totally something I could like see myself eating. It's not gonna spoil any of my diet habits. And it's, it's light, you know what I mean? Like the portions are big and I'm not gonna feel guilty about it after the fact. You know? I agree, yeah, there's not a lot of carb content on this, but there is definitely a lot of protein, which I need for a lot of my workouts. So I'm gonna feel like this is a very good choice. You want some extra sauce? Yeah. Why not? Here. <laughs> so it's a pass, you guys like it? I think it's fantastic. Mmm. Now I'm a little jealous of their margaritas. This one is almost as good as mine. You don't even know what yours tasted like. Really good, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste really good. It tastes good. <laughs> I hear it's delicious, though. I hear it's also delicious. For all these recipes and all, everything else that you've seen here, go to megandeffy.ca or simply go and visit Modern Taco Company in Grand Park. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Sheila Bennett from Kitchen Sink, your place to create. Hypnotic is one of Winnipeg's best salons since 2008. From hair to nails and even massages, Hypnotic is where you go to relax. Come and visit us at 1600 Kennison Boulevard. Book an appointment online today. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. I came because I was hungry. I just had the um, some of the, the pulled pork. Uh, burrito and it's really good. Okay, it is officially taco time. We are making four tacos. What are the four tacos we're making? Four tacos we're making today yeah. are going to be our marinated grilled steak taco, a 
pork taco, which is uh, maple slow cooked pork. We're making a ground steak taco. And then we're also making a chicken fajito taco. So these are traditional corn tortillas. Uh, we pre-warmed them up here. If you don't warm them up, they kind of get a little brittle and they're a little hard to work with. No. Okay, so first taco, we're gonna do steak. First taco is a marinated steak. So we here already we started uh, cooking this up. So here we have a flank steak, right? Uh, the steak here, it's a, it's a grilling steak actually. Grilling steak. Yeah. Okay. So we have the grilling steak available here and we just had that one already cooking up. Just gonna throw that right on in there. And that one's been grilled up with a little bit of uh, a little sauteed onion, kind of caramelized a little bit. And that's also going right in there. And once we get all the meat in there, we're gonna throw a little extra onion on there. So. That looks fabulous. Uh, and then we top it off with a little bit of, if you want to pass me over here. I'm your this assistant. Our, there we go. Our chimichurri sauce. All of our sauces are actually made uh, in-house at Modern Talk Company. We don't uh, store by any of these, so. Now, have you ever had a chimichurri sauce that's spicy? Uh, it should be like more savory. Right. Sometimes they almost have a little bit of zip to them, but it should be like a very full flavored. Full flavored. Yeah. This is full flavor here. It okay, is. Okay, what do you need next? All right, next up, we're gonna put together the chicken fajita one. Let's do it. So with that one, we're gonna have our slow cooked chicken. So this is obviously shredded chicken. Here, we'll just yeah. show our friends here. Shredded chicken, and what do you have in the chicken here? It's just a mixture of some tomatoes, some, uh, a little bit of peppers and stuff, and some of our in-house seasoning. And it slow cooks in, a special, in our specialty oven for about three hours. Wow, okay. So the stuff's tender and ready to go. We're just gonna load that one up with that too. Yeah, just load it up. Yeah. No one's afraid of eating a little, uh, a little bit of a full taco, right? No, definitely. Okay, it's protein, right? It's all the protein. Yeah, and this one's a fajita, so what we did here is we grilled up some peppers. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw all those peppers in there. And then some caramelized onions. Okay. As well on top of there. Not shy with the onions here, hey? Never shy with the onions. All right, and then that one's topped with a little bit of our queso. Okay, and now, that's the Mexican cheese. This is Mexican cheese, and this is made by us we actually take uh, an organic 1% milk and we render it into our own cheese, just adding a little salt and some, some special things that we, you know. Okay, so it's sort of like feta cheese, but not as strong. Is that how you describe it? That's how I would describe it. Yeah, it's not quite as creamy, a little salty, okay. but uh, it's, it's still more of a traditional cheese versus your... Uh... And it's a very popular Mexican cheese. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, and then our third taco here is going to be our ground one. Ground. It's ground steak, ground not steak. ground beef. A lot of places will use, you know, ground a little beef. less than ground beef, even I've heard. But uh, this is actually ground steak, and it's seasoned in house as well. Uh, but if you don't have ground steak, you could use ground beef at home, right? You could if you were doing it at home. Yeah. Um, Captain Kirk doesn't cut corners here, though. If we don't cut corners. No. And then we put the cheese on top of there. You know, this is just a standard three cheese blend. Okay. So mozzarella, cheddar. And I think it's Monterey Jack. In this Monterey one. Jack. Okay. Yeah. So this one, uh, the cheese will melt down on top of it. Then we add a little bit of fresh cut lettuce. Okay. And then, if you want to pass me the sour cream. I sure do. Do you want to do the honor? Okay. So give it a little shake. A little spiral. Spiral. You can put an M in there if you want for Megan. Oops. I like a little extra. Boop. And then last but not least is the maple one. Okay, maple it's pork. It's maple pork. Maple pulled pork, yeah. amazing, okay. This is also and slow cooked for three hours, and she's been eating it the entire time we've been here. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> that so, is so tasty. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, and this maple pork, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's also very sweet. So you're kind of balancing the two. Huh, there's a little kick. <laughs> there's a little kick on it. So what we do to, do to balance that out, once we got the meat in there, we're using a red wine pickled onion. So not only does this add, a lot of color. Some pink. Some pinks, some purples. Yeah. It adds a whole lot of flavor. So Which is obviously a nice balance with the, with the heat, because there is a little bit of heat on that taco, so. There is a little bit of heat. It's not Mexican if it doesn't uh, have a little warmth to it, right? Well, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to pass me over the avocado one. Here we go. All right, so this is our uh, homemade avocado sauce. Okay. Uh, fresh avocados ground up with uh, sour cream, some lime juice, that kind of stuff. Bunch of delicious things. Bunch of delicious things. And we're gonna, just gonna put a little drizzle of that on there. And you can throw that back yeah. over here. So we're making our four tacos. The restaurant could come down, it'll be plated like this. And you have your there choice you of either nacho chips or rice. So we're gonna go with rice today because it's a little more authentic. Okay, Mexican rice. 
Yes. Give us the give us the dirty here. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Peppers. Yeah. What, like what else do you put in it? Because I've tried to replicate it at home, and I'm close. It's but close. it's a little bit of our chili seasoning, our in-house one. Okay. And then yeah, like you said, the tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a uh, cilantro in there. Okay. And it's all kind of just slow cooked into the rice. So even though it is a white rice, it ends up with being right. So this okay. So this for everyone watching, this is just a plain white rice, but yeah. the color comes from all the things that you put in it, like. The chili peppers, the tomato tomatoes, sauce. tomato sauce, and uh, the red pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And then we're just going to garnish everything with a little bit of cilantro. All right, so right here, mm -hmm. we'll garnish that with a little zest of lime. If you want, you can squeeze it on your thing. And right there, we got our four taco platter. This looks amazing. Now, instead of just talking about it, why don't we try one? Okay, ladies first, here you go. Thanks very much. I'm going to go with that chicken. Thank you. Go with that. Pork one, I think. Okay. Thank you. Good. Good. That looks right. that looks amazing. Bon appetit. It's a little bit sweet with that avocado. It's creamy and it balances out. As you can see, it's a little messy, but it's great. I like the look of the peppers. Oh, they're nice and sweet. It's a good uh, combination with the spicy. So you got some sweet pepper and then a little bit of spice with the chicken, which is really nice. And you said you're a traditionalist? I want, going with the steak? I'm going to go with the steak. Okay, I'm going traditional then. Okay. With your extra sour cream. Extra sour cream. All right, let's try not to make a mess here. Oh, uh, well, we're going to make a mess, so. The steak is awesome. I really, really like the chimichurra on the steak. Yeah, it's a very popular Brings one. Brings it all together. Um, even though there's a lot of grilled onions, it's not overpowering. It's a nice bun. For all these recipes and everything else, go to megandeffy.ca. Lots more coming up here on Megan's menu, so stay with us for Mexican. <laughs>